The Marlins acquiring first baseman Josh Bell from the Guardians for Gene Segura and infield prospect Khalil Watson. Wow. Change of scenery trade. Well, and wow. Bell's owed 16.5, Segura 8 something, so the Guardians saved some money on that deal. It's Bell has not been good for him. Ooh, Khalil Watson, a top pick. And then you got the Padres acquiring Garrett Cooper from the Mar. Wow. He homered just yesterday, I believe. Wow. Or maybe it was his last one. Uh, Garrett Cooper has power. He has struggled. So Kim Ng, Dan, she made moves, her and her front office, this offseason that were befuddling. Gene Segura was one of them because he was going to play out of position. He wasn't alone. Some of us questioned the Jazz Chisholm experiment in center field. What do you make of the moves? And oh, I think she's done a tremendous out? job. I mean, you know, you talk about those moves, then you got to talk about a rise. You know, they, right. she got back an elite bat that fit their lineup. Perfectly. And then, then she realized, now, hey, listen, the club doesn't have, have enough power. I get Berger, I get Bell. Bell's power is questionable. It's been a down year. Maybe a change of scenery will help him. But I think Kim has really navigated um, the trading deadline exceptionally well. I'm, I'm really happy for her and, and the organization. I think the biggest thing, too, is the relationship of a GM and a manager. She picked her own manager, Skip Schumacher, to run this club, and they seem to be getting along fine. And, and that's what makes it work. You know, and so when you see changes, that gives you the right to go get the person that you want to, to have. He, uh, and Khalil don't Watson. forget about the Robertson trade, too. She went out and got a closer. The Mets dumping players, the yeah. Marlins adding players.